Well, good morning, guys, and welcome to day 17. All right, we are fasting for a change. We've been on this journey together for a little over two weeks now. And I wanna ask you, have you seen a change in your life? Has God prompted you with any changes? Has there been any course correction? Has God spoken to you through your prayer, through your fast? You know, that's what we're really asking God for. In these 21 days together, we are pressing in. We are opening up the Word of God. We are reading biblical stories, and we're asking God for 21 changes in our life. We're asking God to take us deeper in these areas that we're fasting about. And I hope that on this journey, you really have taken the time to read the scripture. Guys, I mean, part of this whole journey of prayer and fasting is so that the windows of heaven open up and that you hear from God like you've never heard before, that the Word of God comes alive and you're seeing it active in your life. So I know that fasting is hard. Many of you have been emailing me. I'm, I'm loving hearing from you, and, and I know it's difficult. I know that our stomachs are growling. I know we've talked about that we're contending with the, the flesh and the spirit and the desires of our heart, but I'm telling you, in these last few days together, don't give up. Don't give in. Run the race. There's a reward ahead for you, so stay on track. So today, our topic is an exciting topic. It's one that I really love. It's a story that I love to read, and it's one that you might find a little interesting. Today, we're gonna to talk about the topic of wonder. You know, there's a verse, I love to quote it. I think of it often in my prayer walks. The Bible says, wonder and be astounded, for I do a work in your day that you would not even believe if told. God's saying that to you today, my friend. Wonder and be astounded. I'm doing a work that even if I told you what I'm doing, you would be astounded. So we're gonna talk about wonder. You see, I want you to go deeper in your wonder. I want you to be curious about the things of God. I want you to open up your mind and I want you to think bigger, believe bigger and ask bigger. So let's start. What's the definition of the word wonder? Well, it's a desire to be curious, to know something more. You really have this curiosity. And our topic today on wonder is an incredible story. We're gonna talk actually about the Queen of Sheba, the story of the Queen of Sheba. But first of all, let's look at our lack of. You know, every day so far, we've looked at the lack of that topic so that we can really begin to decide, do I have it or not? Am I struggling in that particular area of my life? So open up your books, get your book, open up your book to day 17, and let's look at our lack of wonder. First of all, you don't have an interest in what you don't know. So you're one of those people who go, I don't know, I'm not interested in that, I don't care about that. You don't even want to dialogue, you don't have an open mind, you don't want to go deeper, you don't want to learn. You're closed-minded to new things. Or you look at life as routine and predictable. You literally are on this path, my friend, and you're not opening yourself up to new revelations or new things of God. You're stuck in where you are, or you just don't like to change. Maybe you picked up this book, Fasting for a Change, and you've not seen any change because you really don't believe in change. You are never gonna see the wonder of God if you can't go deeper in asking God to show you things you don't know, things you don't understand. That's what faith is or you don't go out of your way to learn anything new. Again, like I said, you're stuck and you haven't opened up your eyes. Let me just explain to you what this means. Often when I read the word of God, I say, God, show me what I don't see yet. Show me what I don't even know you have for me. If all I do is pray the things I think I want, I'll never see what God has for me. That's what faith is. Or you're suspicious of others. Everybody else that's telling you about what God's doing in their life, you're suspicious. You think they're reading into everything. I'm telling you, if you're stuck here, you will never see God do what he wants to do. Behold, I do a new thing in your world. Behold, I do a new thing. Wonder and be astounded. So listen, are you with me today as your coach? I'm trying to stir up in you today. I want you to wonder. I want your eyes to get bigger, your mind to get bigger. I want you to dream like you did when you were a little boy or a little girl. What could life be like if God would do what you believed him to do and even more? 
So wonder is a word we really don't talk about much today. I fear that we've become so wise in our own eyes we don't wonder anymore. We have God in this box. And I'm telling you right now, this is a good day. Read through your passage, read through. I love this story of the Queen of Sheba. Let me just explain this to you. Here she is in Sheba, that would be Ethiopia. She hears about the wisdom of Solomon. She is so wise in her own mind. She's the wisest woman in her land. She has all the wealth and all the money, everything that she could want. Yet she hears, listen to me, this is so good. She hears of someone who has more. And it's the wisdom of Solomon that she's attracted to. Not the wealth of Solomon, not the riches of Solomon, but the wisdom of Solomon. And do you realize that literally she traveled approximately 1,500 miles. It probably took her anywhere, they estimate, between a year and a half to three years to get to Solomon. She wondered about the wisdom of this great king. She didn't send someone. She didn't say, go find out about it. She herself wondered. And when I was reading and writing this, you guys, I said, God, would I get on a boat and sail and get on, a, on horseback and, and travel three and a half years out of my way, maybe three years in the desert? to wonder about someone that has the wisdom of God? Do I surround myself with people that have the wisdom of God? I'm telling you today, this is a course correction in your life. You need to wonder about the things of God. Get around somebody that has experiences with God. Get around somebody that knows how to break through. Get around somebody that knows how to pray and believe God. Get, get around someone that has a gift of the Holy Spirit on them and wonder press in and say, God, I want what they have. I wonder. That's what, what, that's, a, that's what the Queen of Sheba did. She wondered about King Solomon. She made her way to that. So that's what your passage is today. Read it and wonder. Ask God to activate your mind. Activate your, thar, uh, your heart with the things of God. Okay, I want you to look at those scripture passages. That's in 1 Kings 10. Read through that. Spend time in that today. Don't rush through that today. I have a feeling today is going to be a really good day for you, my friend. I have a feeling that God's going to bring insight, wisdom, and revelation to you today. Okay, let's look at our coaching steps together for today. Number one, the most important step is building a desire for wonder is to believe that there's more for you. Now listen, this is good for somebody. I'm coaching you. Some of you don't believe that God's got more for you. You believe that God's got favorites and you're not one of them. You believe that you're not spiritual enough, that you don't know the word enough, that you haven't been good enough. And so you've stopped wondering about the things of God. You've stopped seeking out the wisdom of the people like Solomon that walk with God. I'm telling you, you have to decree and declare over yourself right now. Come on, stay with me. Decree that God has more for you. Can you say that with me? Decree that God has more for you. It has to start today. Your wondering has to start with faith to believe he has more for you. We are ever growing and there's always knowledge of all that God has for us. I'm telling you, believe it in your spirit. You have to dream again and you have to allow your mind to explore that. So that's number one in your coaching step. Number two, what I just said, seek out those that can be encourage builders for you. Get around somebody that walks with God and just go, look, this may sound crazy, but I just have watched you. You seem to worship on Sunday mornings. You seem to know how to pray. You seem to know how to press in. Look, this is on you, my friend. Open up your mouth and get around people that you're attracted to that walk with God and say, I have this curiosity about you. I have this wonder about you. Can you tell me how you grew in your faith? Can you tell me how you developed your walk with God? Wonder, seek those people out. Don't wait for someone to come to you. You press in today. You seek out. You wonder, just like the Queen of Sheba did towards Solomon, you wonder. And then number three, this one's hard, guys. You have to get vulnerable. You have to let down your defenses. You have to realize you don't know everything. Look, I'm going to tell you what. I believe I've been doing this a long time. I believe I'm spiritually mature. I believe I know the Word of God. I believe I know how to pray. I believe I know how to fast. I've been doing this a whole lot of years. But I also know that I don't know everything. 
I also know that there's people out there that can teach me and lead me. That's why I listen to podcasts. That's why I reach out to people, some of them even younger than me. I'll never forget the day I reached out to Kim Walker Smith, and I'm her mother in the faith now. I'm old enough to be her mother, yet she understood things about the Holy Spirit that I didn't. So don't ever assume because someone's younger than you that they're not wiser than you in some areas. So li literally give space for people to pour into you and speak into you. So get vulnerable, number three in our coaching, get vulnerable and let God show you something new. It's not until you lower your guard and your defense mechanism that you will ever honestly see the pure wonder of God. So today in our talk on wonder, sit here for a minute, read the scripture, take time and say, God, what do you have for me? What new insights do you have? What dreams have gone dormant that you put in my life? Maybe as a young adult, what did you say and decree over me that I would do and I let die? wonder again. Be astounded. He is working in your day. Amen. Alrighty. Do your Jesus fast. Don't forget all week long we're talking about our Jesus fast. This is a beautiful passage in Matthew 4 where Jesus went into the wilderness, where the enemy came, where the enemy tempted him. And so stay strong. Understand God always, Jesus always, rebuke the enemy with the word of God. Don't forget that. Rebuke the enemy with the the word of God. So go through your Jesus fast today. And then me, let me close in our prayer time together. Now remember guys, pray together. As many of you know, when I started off this fast, I introduced to you a prayer card that is a prayer card for your family or a prayer card for your friends. And I pray that you have a group that you're praying with, whether it's your family, your friends, and I'm asking that you pray that prayer over them every day. Our family, personally, my sons and daughter-in-laws and son-in-laws are all fasting together for 21 days and we're praying our family prayer over one another every single day. So begin to recite that over. If you don't have that, you can find that on my website. So it's a prayer card for family and for friends. So always pray that and then every day conclude with your prayer for the day. So let's do that together now. Dear Lord, I desire to go deeper in my awe and wonder of your goodness. Remember, I wrote these prayers for you. They're your prayers. I want to go deeper in my awe and my understanding of your goodness. I ask that I would be filled and that I would be led by your spirit. Can you just say that? Say that today. God, I want to be led by your spirit. I want to understand awe and wonder. Teach me how to stop and see your wonder and your majesty in my everyday life. For me, often I'm on my prayer life and I just, I see the sun rise. I see literally the moon still out, the majesty and the wonder of God. I just sit in a moment of creation. You realize every day he wants to speak fresh and new to you. Lord, I ask you to help me to share my journey with those around me. Let me share my story. Let me share my testimony and be spiritually attractive to those I encounter. God, would you put that on me? Would you put a supernatural attraction where people literally will stop me. I have to stop and tell you a story. It's crazy, it just happened this week. I went to the theaters to see a movie and this young girl came up to me. I was standing in line to get popcorn and um, for someone else, I'm fasting, but someone asked me to get them some popcorn. I'll, I will say that. And this girl came up to me and she said, can I just tell you, you are so beautifully attractive. Now, first it t took me off. I'm this older woman. She was with all these young people and I'm going, well, you're so sweet, that's so kind. And next thing you know, I went into the movie, I saw the movie, she was in the same theater, she went into the movie. I came out and there she was with all of her friends and they were in their late 20s, early 30s. And I had this kind of door open, to be honest with you. And I walked over and I said, okay, I have to ask you, who are you and why don't I know you? And before long, we began to have this dialogue. We began talking with one another. And we talked about the movie and the, everything else. And she goes, well, what do you do? And I said, actually, I'm an author and I'm a pastor. And she said, you're a Christian? Well, the next thing you know, we began talking. Well, let me tell you what, God opened a door, a conversation with it. And I'm telling you this because I think it's an important story. I'm taking the time to tell you this right now because I took the opportunity to reach out to her. We ended up having coffee. We ended up getting to know one another and God has built a friendship with this young girl. 
where are you not stopping in the awe and the wonder of how God wants to open doors for you and make connections with people for you. Pray this prayer over you. Ask God to use your testimony and use your story today. And spiritually, I want to be attractive to those I encounter. That was for someone today. I went a little longer today because I felt like I wanted to tell you that story. Stop and be spiritually attractive to those around you in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, we just had day 17. We went a little longer, but I felt like I needed to do that. Take time today to sit in awe and wonder of His majesty. You are spiritually filled to be the voice of Jesus in someone's life today. Amen. Be strong. I can't wait till tomorrow. Go 24 hours. Stay strong, and I will see you in the morning. Have a great day. God bless.